Jessica Majerus, and I'm the program director at Children's Grief Connection. And if you've clicked on this video, it's because you are interested in either A, our Hope for the Holidays series, or B, 10 tips for grieving during the holidays, or both. I just want to let you know that our Hope for the Holidays series is going to run every Wednesday from now, uh, November 18th, until the end of the year, the end of 2020. So we'll see you every Wednesday. We hope you click like and subscribe um, so that you can keep getting information about these videos as they come out. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to know is just acknowledge that the holidays are gonna be different and that they're probably gonna to be tough. Now, this is different across the board, right? Because with the pandemic, everybody's holiday is gonna be a little different. Um, and then add grief to it, and you're looking at a very, very different holiday. Um, just saying it's gonna be different and it's gonna to be tough um, will help, will actually help. Um, just know that you can do hard things. We can do this, hard things are hard, right? Okay, two, uh, make a plan and communicate that plan. So try to have realistic expectations. We're not gonna be able to do all of the same things we've always done, especially not this year. Um, now is not a time where you should shit on yourself. We like to say, don't shit on yourself. So don't say, I should do this and I should do that and we should still be doing this. Don't do that. And more importantly, don't let anyone else should on you. Um, talk to the people in your pod uh, and the people that are outside of your pod, let them know what what you're thinking for plans wise, try to come to an agreement on something, but make sure that everybody knows what the plans are so that, that, that there are no surprises, and that includes kids if you have them. Number three, make a list, check it twice or more than twice. So you're gonna be like Santa here in this situation. Grieving people forget things. Uh, there's actually a phenomenon called grief brain. It's your brain is in trauma and you have a hard time remembering things. You'll find yourself at the grocery store standing in front of the cheese with absolutely no idea how you got there. It happens. Um, so if it helps you to stay organized and staying organized can help lessen your stress, um, make lists, make many, many lists. Get your calendar together. Um, use your smartphone if that's something that you have or if it's more, if it's easier for you to write things out, if that helps you remember, write out the lists, write out the gifts that you wanna give or need to give. Um, uh, if you're doing baking, write a list of that and the ingredients that you're gonna need and double check. Um, a calendar of the events that maybe you're doing. All of that stuff, if you can keep that organized, will help reduce stress and will help you with grief. Number four. Traditions can change or not. It's kind of up to you. Um, think about what traditions you'd like to keep and which ones need to be changed. Or This is a really good time for reassessment right now before everything gets going. And remember to try to keep your expectations as realistic as possible. You're not gonna be able to do every single thing. Number five, talk to kids. If you have kids in your life, Talk to them. Let them know um, what might look different this year. Let them know what you're gonna try and keep the same. Um, and let them know that their feelings during this time are okay. If they're sad, that's okay. If they're happy, if they're excited for Christmas or Hanukkah or, what, or Thanksgiving or whatever's coming up, that's okay too. It's okay to be happy during this time too. It's just important to keep communication open with them and let them know, you know, we know things are different, but talk to me. Number six, find yourself an elf, or even better, elves. Uh, even Santa has his own crew, right? So don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it, whichever, whatever kind of help that may be. Number seven, all right. Mind the booze and the food. So this is a typical time of year to overindulge, right? Um, we're used to all the holiday drinks and all of that food and the baking and all of the, you know, the good foods and the comfort foods and it's, you know, we're used to that. Um, 
you can, when you're grieving, the the need for comfort and the need to, and the tendency to over, overindulge is even greater. Um, while that may feel really good in the moment, while you want to just take down a pint of eggnog or whatever, um, understand that sugar crashes are real and so are hangovers. So try to try to keep pay attention to overindulging if you can. Number eight. Okay, uh, it's okay to cry. People think that that you know they shouldn't let children see them cry or. Um, they shouldn't let anyone see them cry or people in their family think that they should be over their grief by now. Uh, that's not a thing. Um, your loss is real and no matter how much time has passed, not having your loved one during the holidays can hurt. Um, go ahead and have a cry. Um, sobbing actually releases oxytocin and increases oxygen into your brain. Um, they found out that crying is actually pretty good for you. Um, it's okay for kids to see you cry. It's okay for them to know that you're sad and why you're sad. And if they want to, it's okay to let them comfort you. It's okay to let them know that adults have emotions too. Number nine, it's okay to enjoy yourself. Um, it's okay to cry and it's okay to be happy during the holidays if you are. If you find yourself in a happy moment, go ahead and be happy. Memorize that moment if you can and be grateful for that moment. That'll certainly help you in your healing. But just know that you don't have to be sad during the holidays. It's okay to be happy and it's okay to enjoy yourself. And number 10, this is a big one, okay? This is one, whether you're grieving or not, we all are gonna have to do this year. Um, give yourself and give the others in your life some grace. Um, this is a hard time for everyone normally and now we're in a pandemic, which makes it really hard for a lot of people. Um, and then you yourself are adding grief to that equation. And the people in your life are probably adding grief to that equation too. That's a lot. That's a lot to carry. Um, you're probably going to mess up. That's the way things go. That's the nature of being human. People around you will probably mess up too. In fact, there's a good chance they're going to say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. Try to give yourself and the people in your life a little bit of grace and let some things just go and say, you know what, it's the holidays, that's the way it goes. This is hard, but like one of my favorite authors, Glennon Doyle says, we can do hard things. We're here to help. So go ahead, like I said before, shameless plug right here, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll have videos every Wednesday that are gonna help address some of the things that a lot of our families talk about they need help with during the holidays. So we'll see you next Wednesday, bye.